I'm here today in Newburn, North Carolina, and I am with two people who have been deeply, deeply involved in the relocation and the renovation of a very special jet. And you are? I'm Really, the uh, organization that's behind, been behind the renovation and relocation of this wonderful historic jet um, since probably about uh, 2006. And your name is? Hey, I'm Alvin Wyndham. Uh, I got involved in this uh, about 2006, and I was more or less the liaison between the city and Swiss Bear and FRC East, and I worked closely with them to ensure that uh, they got the jet was refurbished. And how long did it actually take to refurbish the jet once it was uh, transported down to uh, the Cherry Point area? Well, they were really, uh, really good about that. I think it took them about uh, four months, Susan? At the most, yeah. They four actually months. did it much sooner because we hadn't raised all the money yet. Um, and we were like, wow, what are we going to do now if we had to return it? But fortunately, they were able to um, have it there or store it until we moved along with the project. Um, and so actually, they actually had it almost nine months before transporting it to So today they're going to take the jet and put it on top of the pedestal. And I understand after that there's still quite a bit of work to do? There is, there is. Actually, this project um, will probably end up costing about 180000 um, we have raised uh, considerable cash and in-kind contributions from local business. Um, Superior Crane, for instance, um, the um, transport company, Williams Service Company, uh, Eubanks Electricians, Trader Construction. I mean, the list is monumental of the, kind of, of the participation um, helping with this project. Um, the thing that is, I think, really great about this project, when the jet was on um, Martin Luther King, there was no boulevard, there was no signage. So you really didn't understand the significance of the jet. We will have interpretive panels or storyboards that relate, first of all, how this jet um, was a supersonic superstar, broke altitude records, speed records, all that. It was one of the first that was chosen um, for the Blue Angels use. About 45 planes um, were used for that. Um, and also then the third panel will relate the project and the people who contributed. Um, it, it really is a plane that is a real artifact. It shows the um, close relationship of the military. The idea that it was actually a Blue Angel came about from Rudy Ramakey, who had worked for Northrop Grumman, and he knew that the Blue Angel, or that the, the Tiger, F-11 Tiger um, jets had a, a smoke pipe that they were used for by the Blue Angels, and when he saw that on the plane on Martin Luther King Boulevard, he came to us um, and said, because um, at the time we were planning things for the 300, is there a possibility this could be redone? Well, and so we went to the city and they, they gave us approval to move forward. And uh, that's the Blue Angel you know, part then. We decided that it would be good to paint it those colors. And it has just been a fabulous project. Well, the city and the entire area certainly owe all the people involved a, a debt of gratitude. And to you, sir, I, I must say that I, I know from talking with a number of folks that you were really pushing hard on this for quite a while. Thank you. Uh, your, your involvement has been deep with the uh, with folks at Cherry Point and the, uh, and the repair group, and I know that uh, you have labored long and hard to find the parts and the people to get it put back together. Just how extensive were the, uh, was the damage to the plane? Well, it was, most of it was just superficial. What they had to do is they had to strip all of the uh, paint off of, the, off of it. And once they got that paint off, then they took a look and saw where some, there was some corrosion and all in it, on it. And then met some MAG-14 Marines came in and they started patching it and it didn't take those Marines probably, oh, three or four weeks to get it all patched. And then once they got it patched, they primed it. And then after they primed it, um, Glidden Paint donated all the paint for it. And once they got it primed, 
uh, they just started painting it and they did notice that the silver paint that we had to put on it around the wings was not the right kind so knowing them how they are Stephen called me and he says Alva he says this is not the right paint I said well what do you need he told me so I went to Glidden and they ordered the right paint that we needed and I took it down there and uh, they finished the product that's just how thorough those people were when they started working on this ship there's a lot of pride in the people down there and they, they wanted to do a first class job so they did it is certainly going to make a fabulous fabulous addition to this uh, part and to the city and I am so delighted that the uh, final location turned out to be one that can be seen from the highway it can be uh, a true service and and show the relationship between Newburn and the military yeah I would like to add one thing also um, I know that there are rules and regulations with, uh, with the, the base and FRC East and all there was a tremendous amount of volunteer labor but we, the city also had to pay a portion for labor, and we also did. So there was a cost involved, even though the paint was uh, uh, donated and all. But, you know, I don't want anybody to, to have the impression that the base just did this free, because that isn't the case, and that, that sometimes can, you know, um, be controversial. And the other thing I want to say is, we were able to raise a tremendous amount of money on our end, which was there, and, and facilitate all of this. But the city certainly has been a key player in this. Bobby has um, been the one that really has uh, been on top of all this here, working with all the different companies, working, you know, to, to make all this happen. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of people that have been involved and if, like every project we've ever been involved in, I think what is so wonderful is not only do people contribute money, they contribute time, effort, and that's what makes New Bern so special because these wonderful projects happen because our, we have a community where people buy into it and help make positive things happen. And I don't think we can ever lose so much. I truly concur with what you just said. Thank you both very much, and we'll be waiting to see this crane lift this airplane and put it up on and top of the pedestal. Yep. All goes well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.